Hi, it's Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. Uh, so this week I'm going to be working on tags, journal spots, maybe even little tabs that could go on journals, etc. But before I do that, just let me say thank you very much to everyone who commented or gave me the thumbs up for my cardboard junk journal last week. Uh, you know, that was a fun little project to do. I didn't expect the response that I got, but, you know, I'm delighted by it, so thank you very much. Also, thank you to the couple of people that pointed out that I was being a bit careless with this, not in terms of using it, but I had left it open beside me and, you know, I was working away, so my hand is well above it here. It might not look it, it's above it. You know, just for getting cut. So thanks for pointing that out. Uh, I need to be more careful, especially when filming things, just to show that we need to take care with these things. There's one comment from, I think it's Christina B, who, Christina, if you're watching this, I can see your comments in one section, but it's not actually allowing me to reply. I don't know why, so I'm not being rude and not replying, but uh, thank you for your kind comment and also for pointing out about that. People asked where I got this from. This actually came from Aldi, or Aldi, depending on how you pronounce it. They, uh, every so often they have some reasonable craft items in and this I think is intended for cutting fabric so it's, it is quite sharp it's very good it comes with a spare blade I can't remember how much it cost maybe five pounds something like that and I just find because this I have a painful thumb rather than cutting it allows me just to run along it so it is a really handy tool and it has this guard that goes over it so yeah so let's get started on tags etc now in the same way that I can never let go of cardboard and cardboard boxes I sometimes do but find it very difficult I also find it difficult to let go of clothing tags or product tags that type of thing so the result is I have a ton and this is only a small selection of them. So I thought today what I'd do is maybe spend, I don't know, an hour doing tags, although I can put it on double speed so it might be a bit more or a bit less than that, or maybe even just pulling out ten and just showing different ways of doing them. So let's just have a look at what we've got. So this is one already on a string, it's actually a little leaflet thing, you know, that could almost make a nice little kind of tag, mini journal type thing. Here's a big one. Got the full stitching on it already. I would just leave these, you know, they could be covered up. I might do that, I don't know. Could be made thicker by putting the two together. In fact, that would be quite nice. One side could just be for journaling and the other side I could just decorate. So I'll have a look at that. Uh, yeah, again, almost a little booklet type tag. Another one of these. There's other bits and pieces in here as well. This type of thing, you know, pre punched. All we need to do is decorate that. This kind of thing would make a good tab. So we could decorate that and then attach it to a journal page as a tab. Uh, that's product packaging that could be used. Ones like this even comes with the string on it. You know, that'd be ideal. These tinier ones. These tiny ones. Stuff that comes with craft materials. So, you know, I just hold on to them all. And I think it's time to do something with them. So I'm going to clear this away. There's an old Christmas card in there. I'm going to clear some of this away, pull a few of these out and just start working on them. Again, I will probably put it on double speed uh, and maybe explain a bit what I'm, about what I'm doing as I go along or say a bit more at the end. I'll just use some collage materials, maybe some paint. Uh, I could glue stick things down. I'll probably use Mod Podge with the likes of this. It's kind of shiny. So normally if I was going to paint on this I would rough up the surface a bit with some sandpaper, 
But today I think I'm just going to stick things down and mod podge over. Mod podge and use that to stick things down. So, clear this away, pull a few out and let's see where we get to. So, I've just pulled out a selection. Now the thing about some of these is, you know, as you're pulling the plastic from the front way, you get this coming up. That doesn't matter, that can just be stuck down again. Or you could take it off and just kind of paint or put paper over it. So there's no problem with anything like that. I quite like the like these little ones where there's two together. So that would make a nice kind of dual tag. That could be a little journal that's then attached to something. Oh, there's just all manner of ideas. These are quite thin, so I would make these into a tab, I think, but I'd still decorate them. Yeah, so let's get started. So that one, I just doubled the, the paper over because it would just help hide the writing that was on it. I didn't need to do it that way, I just did it that way for ease. Also, it's helped strengthen this bit at the top that was a little bit weak. So once it's dry, I can punch just a single hole in there or I could take that whole tab out again. Sorry if you hear the rain, it's raining quite heavily here today. Uh, so that was the back, but I may make that the front now and maybe put a piece of, I have some tea dyed paper, so I may put a piece of tea dyed paper in there which would act as a, a journaling spot. Right, I'll keep going with this one and, or maybe pick up a few others as this dries.
Okay, I've got a lot going on at the moment. My desk is getting cramped, so I need to tidy some of this up. But just a quick recap of where we're at. So we've got this big tag that's got a bit of decoration on both sides. I would envisage that as being a kind of journaling spot. These two I glued together. And I did that because I thought it was quite nice to have the, the full stitching, but more work to be done. This one, where I just took some stamped images that I already had, I still need to do this side of it, but I didn't want to close it in case they stuck together. This with paint that I need to do a bit more on. This one, which I need to trim up. I wasn't going to do anything on the back, but now that it's got a bit sticky, I'll see. This one where, you know, there's already a pattern on it, which was quite nice, so, you know, why bother changing it? I just put that word over. I'd been making some of these just yesterday, or the day before. So we've got them. This one, which I've made a little pocket on. And I quite like this one because, you know, often we don't have a lot of tags that would suit, perhaps, say, gifts for men, but that... I thought would be quite appropriate. Renewal of license it says there, which I quite like. And that one, just by chance. Although I do like these kind of designs, but it's that sort of thing. But we'll see when it's finished. Was there another? This one. Yeah, now this one had a perforated edge, but I'm going to do something with that that will strengthen that a bit. So, can kind of first pass, oh I did these as well for tabs, but I'm going to have to make these a little bit thicker, but I'll show you how in a moment.
So, I think I'm done for now. I don't know how many I've done. Uh, let's see, let's just go through them. So I just used a variety of techniques. This one started with just paint on it. I had made this little bit as a tab. I was thinking it might be a tab and then I thought, no, that would go quite nice on there. So I just stamped a butterfly on the back, finished it off with some cosmic copper bronze. And this already had the string anyway, so I just repurposed that. This one, a uh, piece of paper on here, several pieces there just really to cover the writing. I didn't feel that side needed any more. On the inside I just used st some stamped images that I already had. Yeah, so just looking, I don't know if that's upside down or not, it doesn't matter. And in fact, even repurposed a bit that I'd taken off another card. So again, that could go out as a tag, a kind of double-sided tag. This one, this had a perforation across it, you know, where you could take a price off of something. And I thought rather than waste that bit, I would paint the whole thing and then I would strengthen it by attaching just this little kind of bundle. I'd been making words just mm, a couple of days ago, so I just used one of those words there. And again, just material and pieces that I had, little scraps lying about. So this, again, was something that came, something, it was two tags together, didn't alter this one much other than to hide the writing in the middle, again, just using one of my little word tags and just covering that over. This one, very simple, just covered the words with this piece and actually left this so it would act as a little pocket. And I'll probably make another little tab just to go in there and just covered the back. Quite like the black for a change, I thought it went nice against that. Slightly bigger one, uh, you saw me right at the start cover this completely, almost do double sided, in fact it's almost treble sided there. That was a piece of tea dyed paper that already had some stamping on it and all I did was to take that other piece that I thought would make a journal tab but actually then just used it as a tab for the tag and it's really sturdy. I'm pleased with that and stamped along there just to give it a nice effect and that then matches in and just used a Tim Holtz paper dolls there. I might I might go back and put a bit of stabilo wool just around the edges just to darken the edges. This one that was the two that I stuck together and just covered the writing again with some tea stained paper because it fitted in quite well with the colour of the card. Decided not to go to the edge because I quite liked this kind of full stitching effect around there, but just neatened off the edges by using some of this washi. Just some some of the kind of linen type fabric, again, that had lying around, stapled it in place, and just took the ink that was left on the stamp and just put it on there. So one, two, three, four, five, six or seven, eight. Now it did take me the best part of maybe two hours to do it but I wasn't rushing and my heat gun is playing up just now so I was getting a little bit of heat out of it then it was stopping and so I might have been quicker otherwise. This might be the end of the video. I might make some more of these tomorrow and just let you see it at the end of the video. If not I'll show you another time. So these, I think, would all go perfectly in the journal that I made last week or could go out in Happy Mail or used in other journals. And, you know, there's a lot of fun just in making them. Certainly used up, well, not very many of my big pile of tags. I've still got a big pile to go, so, yeah, might make some more and then they're always there to go out in Happy Mail. So I hope you've enjoyed this. As I say, there might be a bit more footage now. We'll see. If not, I'll say bye for now. Hope you'll join me again.